You're listening to My Devotional, the daily devotional from Dr. Michael Youssef and Leading the Way. Who Can Truly Empower? by Dr. Michael Youssef. In John chapter 16, verses 12 through 15, and in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9 through 16, we see that the Holy Spirit, the third member of the Trinity, God's very Spirit, empowers us to perceive the truth and follow God. He does this by indwelling us, making it possible for us to see Christ for who He is and live for Him here on earth. It is the Holy Spirit's power that enables us to be born again, to enter the kingdom of God, and to be called children of the living God. This is the same power God exercised at the formation of the universe, and the same power that raised the Lord Jesus Christ from the dead. Indeed, this is the power that indwells all who believe in Christ Jesus. We also see that the Holy Spirit is the only one who can help overcome fear. He alone can empower you to not only understand the Word of God, but also obey it and live by it. This is the power that helps you do the impossible, believe the impossible, and trust the God of the impossible. The Holy Spirit even has the power to help us transcend the grief and pain that we experience in this broken world. By His awesome power, the very power that created the world, the Holy Spirit can heal your wounds. He will comfort and uphold you in the midst of pain, discouragement, and failure by sustaining you with His grace. And through the pain, He ultimately brings resurrection in your life. For in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loves us. Truly, The Spirit of God is the only one who can transform your pain into sweet victory as you walk in Christ. The Holy Spirit is the only one who can change lives. This is the power that the Spirit-filled Christian has for the purpose of knowing God and living an abundant, victorious life. And when you begin to comprehend the power of the Holy Spirit by whom God longs for you to live, you will likely find yourself crying out to God, Why did I not understand this for all these years? And with this cry, you will begin to refuse to live anything less than the Spirit-empowered life. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for calling us to be your children, sealed with the mark of your Holy Spirit. May we receive the strength found only in your Spirit to face every challenge in life with joy and with a focus on you that leads us to praise and thanksgiving. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. If today's devotional encouraged you, we'd love to hear about it. Leave a review and share this episode with a friend who needs to hear it. My devotional is a ministry of leading the way with Dr. Michael Yusa. To learn more, visit ltw.org today.